You may have noticed that the results generated for our test script so far has no pass or fail status, without which our automation is incomplete. The expected test result for a scenario should be flight reservation window, which is this screen, should appear after entering valid username and password. To accomplish this, we will need to record an additional step. Step number six, check flight reservation window is displayed. Automation of this verification step can be achieved using checkpoints. A checkpoint is a verification point that compares the current value with the expected value for specified properties of an object. If the current and expected values match, it generates a pass status, otherwise fail status. In QTP, let's go ahead and record step number 6. To add a checkpoint, right-click on step number 5, after which the checkpoint needs to be inserted. Select Insert Standard Checkpoint. The Checkpoint Properties dialog box opens. QTP assigns a default name to the checkpoint. If required, you can give your own preferred name. The table shows all the properties and the corresponding values recorded for the object. The check marks indicate the properties which will be checked. The ABC icon indicates the property is a constant. If you parameterize a property, the icon changes accordingly. For the time being, let's stick to defaults. Insert statement after the current step. Click OK. In QTP, a check statement at line number 6 is inserted. Let's replay the script. The script is giving a runtime error. Well, let's investigate. Well, this is a common source of errors for beginners and is applicable not only for checkpoints but other features as well. At step number 5, QTP closes the flight reservation screen. And when the execution reaches step number 6, there is no flight reservation screen object available to verify its properties. You need to ensure that the object which you are verifying is available while QTP executes the checkpoint step. This error can be rectified by changing the sequence of test steps. You need to switch step number 5 and step number 6. In the new scenario, step number 5 is verify that flight reservation window exists and step number 6 is to close the application. To implement this in QTP, you just need to cut step number 6 and place it in location of step number 5. Let's run the script again. This time around, the script gives no runtime error and the pass status was generated. What we have just learned is a standard checkpoint. Let's do a quick recap. There are many types of checkpoints and the most generic is the standard checkpoint. Standard checkpoints compare the expected value of object properties captured during recording to the object's current values during a run session.